everyone, it's Vic here from At Forever Scrapping. Today I'm sharing a process video for a 12 by 12 layout using the new Pink Paisley collection, Fifth and Monaco. I'm loving it because it's so different and bright from any of the other collections out at the moment. And um, I was so excited to get this for my design team pack for Lottie Loves Paper. So I also treated myself to some texture pastes, the new Vicky Bootin ones that are out, and some of her stencils. And I was really pleased because there's three stencils in a pack. I thought I was only gonna get one, so that was a bonus. So as you can see at the beginning, I selected some colors of texture paste that I thought would go well with the floral papers in the Fifth and Monaco collection. They're really bright, um, there are like a few pops of yellows on like the budgies and things so I thought I'd pick yellow and I was going to use that bright pink but decided that the fuchsia pink would probably just be a bit too much and in your face with those flowers there that I'd fussy cut so stuck to the green. Because the collection is so bright I decided that a monochrome photograph would probably stand out better and not get quite as lost on the layout. So I found this lovely photograph of my daughter seven years ago that I'd taken. Um, she's, I can't believe she's actually going to be 14 next month. Um, time flies by so I hadn't scrapped this photo before. I love looking back over old photographs and finding ones that I, I really like so decided I'd scrap this one. So the papers in this collection are absolutely beautiful. Like I said before they're really different um, to anything else on the market. The colours are really bright and vibrant. There's a lot of floral papers in it so I decided they would be perfect to fussy cut out which is one of my favourite things to do find if you fussy cut papers out you can make a collection stretch a little bit longer and also make layouts that are more individual to yourself. So I fussy cut out half of that sheet, sort of decided where I wanted them to go on the layout and as you can see as I go along most of that mixed media is now being covered up but it's nice to just have little bits peeking out from behind your, your um, embellishments and, and paper on the layout. So layering up my photograph and instead of using my paper trimmer to cut the paper for a clean edge I decided because I've got that mixed media in the back I wanted a bit more of a relaxed feel to the page that I would use my fingers and tear them to the piece to the shape that I wanted um, so they were just right to back behind that photo and just not so that there was loads of it showing I just wanted like little sneak peeks just to try and help bring the photograph off the page a bit more. As you can see where I fussy cut the flowers I also put one behind Isabella's ear I thought that was quite nice to bring the layout onto the photo and, and tie it all in and I really like actually how it looks that pop of pink on the um, the monochrome photograph I think it looks fabulous. So I was got the um oh what do you call them the thickers the gold th gold word thickers that came with this collection. I don't tend to use a lot of gold on my layouts, so this was going to be a bit of a challenge for me. But the phrases are absolutely beautiful on them, and this one says "cute snapshot," which it was really just a quick snapshot on the day. I, to be honest, I'm not even sure where it was taken, um, but I know it was taken at the beginning of June in 2013 and that's about it. Um, although journaling is great on layouts, it's always something I tend to think of later um, and tend to put them on the backs of my layouts, but I didn't really think I needed any journaling on this other than the date. I thought the cute snapshots said it all really. So just cutting apart some more of the 12 by 12 sheets from the paper pad from Fifth and Monaco and um, I cut out some words to put around my page and I'd also pre-cut out some of the butterflies um, if you see it just on the left there it's like a more a peachy coloured pink so less in your face with black and white butterflies printed all over it so I wanted to add some of those onto the flowers just to add a little bit more 
depth and interest to layout, but also just to sort of try and dampen down that brightness in your in your face. So I've dotted them around um, the layout and I tend to do it in trios. I always find that an odd number works better on a layout for me than an even number. So I've got the two embellishment clusters that I'm creating on the left hand side of the page and then one on the bottom right below the photo and I've got the floral sort of going up from that bottom right corner up to the top left diagonal because um, I just I like the way it draws your eye across the page that's what I was trying to do so just showing you there I've got all those bits and sticking them together and I do get out the sewing machine later just to sew up the middles of those butterflies and I also um, did a little bit of zigzag stitching with the sewing machine on those little words that I cut out from one of the 12 by 12 sheets. So I wanted to raise some of the elements up on the page. So just using some um, sticky back kids crafting foam. Um, always find that that's a bit cheaper than buying the actual scrapbooking products although sometimes then they're, they're nice when you get like the tiny little squares they're easier but um i find with this kids crafting foam it's cheap it's easy you can cut it to the size that you want and um a little bit goes a long way so yeah so just sticking everything together now i'm liking how it's coming along I've got that cute little budgie. I, I, I really love the budgies in this collection, so I was determined to get one on the page, um, which is a bit different for me because I tend to try and just put what I think is relevant to the photograph on the page. I'm not very good at just adding sort of random embellishments like some people do. And, you know, there's no right or wrong, and I think you can just get away with anything, but I did sort of cover it a little bit with that big butterfly, but... I like the way that the budgie's sort of sitting on one of the, the word strips that I'd popped on there. So yeah, so just... Sorry about that. My phone just decided I didn't have enough battery and cut me off recording. So just adding a little bit more of the sticky foam on the backs of the flowers to raise them up and add some more dimension to my layout. And then just working out where I want those gold thicker words to go on my layout. I've stuck them down when I'm happy. I've mas machine stitched over them just so that they don't then fall back up off the page. And then I've gone back, wanted to add a little bit more background to it. I thought it was a bit too much white space for me. And this should have been done before I stuck everything down. So um, you can see me struggling there. And um, what I did was I used my heart stamp from the Slice of Life collection by Amy Tangerine just to add some black heart stamping to my layout there. And um, that was about it really. Added a few more little bits, a few of the hearts on the page. Um, had, and then I decided I didn't have enough of the yellow and green up the top left. So I just added a bit more texture paste from the Vicky Booting collection as well. So, thank you for watching. I hope you like my layout. Just finishing off with some black lines around that I'm drawing around my layout just to tie it all together so it doesn't look all floaty. Um, I've added my date stamp on as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you like me, please give it a thumbs up and follow. And you can find me on Instagram as well at Forever Scrapping. This has been a process video using the 5th and Monaco collection for Lottie Loves Paper. Thank you. Bye.